Hi everyone, it's Peter Mackey here again and I'm at Nelco's Distribution. Today in our video, I want to talk to you a little bit about safety. I know at times it's kind of a boring subject, you know, we're like, ah, yeah, we do things safely, but it should always be present in the back of your mind with everything that you're doing. Because although we're just laying vinyl down, in some cases is very inherently dangerous. So a few of the things I want to talk to you about today is knife safety, heat gun safety, might sound silly, but the paper backing off of the material. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of ladder techniques and tricks to help keep you safe. So the first thing I wanna talk about is knife safety. Because we're using X-Acto knives all the time, every day, almost on every single project we do, we have to do this in a safe manner. One thing is, as soon as you use your knife and you're finished with it, bring it back in. Never leave it out. Never leave it, leave it on a table. I know sometimes it's easy to work with the knife in your hand and you've got it out, but if you slip, you can easily cut yourself. Or if you turn, you could cut somebody else. So always retract that blade so that it's safe. I always find that after every time I do a cut, I bring the blade back in, right back into its carriage position, and then this way you know it's safe. One of the other things is, is we always have to crack our blades off. So in your extra blade kit, you've actually got a little spot here that you can crack your blades off into. And then you can see, I always give it a little tap just to make sure that it's down in there. Bring the blade back in and you're safe. My paint scraper, always have it in the locked position. When you've got it out, you can see this is actually a fairly dirty blade that's super sharp and it's actually rusted so you always want to make sure that it's in place. Our air release tool is lethal. It's a needle. This thing will penetrate into your skin that three-eighths of an inch with ease. So always make sure that it's back out. Because you've always got these tools in your pouch you want to make sure that everything is always retracted. It's really easy to cut yourself you will eventually cut yourself, but hopefully it's not too bad. The next thing I want to talk about is your heat gun and using your heat gun safely. As soon as you turn it on, you get immediate heat that's coming out and it's super hot. You can burn your skin instantly, really quickly. Not only that, you can actually burn anything around really quickly. One of the things you want to do is when you're working with a heat gun, if you do place it onto a flat surface and you've got it sideways, make sure that it's on a surface that's not going to get damaged. So if it's on a concrete floor, that's okay. However, if you're at a job site and you put it down and you put it onto something that might come in contact with possibly a carpet, possibly a piece of furniture, this tip is really hot and it will instantly burn or sear carpet. And if you've burnt some carpet at a client's house, all of a sudden you're out a lot of money. The other thing that it can burn easily is your arms. I've gotten quite a few heat gun burns and it's something that will happen, unfortunately, because you quickly just touch it. One nice thing, a lot of heat guns, you can actually have them resting upwards. This will prevent you from touching anything on the ground. And one of the other issues with heat guns are the electrical cords. I was at a job site the other day where when I set up my electrical cord, I noticed that the cord was actually running at the bottom of a staircase. Totally unsafe. So what I had to do, remove it, and I actually found another plug that I actually had to plug in another electrical cord so that I could run my cord safely and they weren't at the bottom of the stairs because it is a serious tripping hazard, especially when you're working around the general public. If it's you on your own and you know where it is, it's safe. However, when there's other people around, there's the issue of tripping. So with your heat gun, always make sure that you've got it put down in a place where you know where it is, it's not in the way, and you don't need to worry about either burning yourself, burning someone else, or potentially burning a product at your job site. I know this one's gonna sound a little bit silly, but for those of you out there who have slipped on paper packing, like myself, 
um, you're going to realize that this one is actually a very significant issue. So the paper backing on the back of your vinyl, when you pull it off, you have this smooth layer that's actually really slippery. Even the paper on itself is quite slippery. So what we tend to do is we'll pull vinyl apart and then we want to get this paper backing out of the way as quickly as possible. And we'll drop it somewhere, it'll fall, slide across the floor. And if you're working somewhere that there's other people at the job site or the general public is around, they can step on this and slip and it's worse than a banana peel. And especially if the floor is wet, in some cases it might be because you may have just finished cleaning a surface and that floor is still slightly wet. You should dry the floor because if you've got paper backing material and a wet floor, it's lethal. One of the other things that you will happen, that will happen to you is you're gonna get a paper cut from this. And it usually stings, doesn't feel good, but because we're always trimming these with a nice exacto knife edge, we get a serious paper cut edge. So one of the things that I always like to have, and this is another part of my safety kit, is I've just got this small kit that's got band-aids, it's got some alcohol wipes, it's actually got uh, some fake skin so that if you do get a serious gash, you can fix that, but it's just kind of, you know, two-day hiking kit that I've got with me at all times because I get those little paper cuts and get those exacto knife cuts and you get little burns. Okay, one of the last items I want to talk about when it comes to safety is ladders. Generally in this job, there's a really, really good chance that you're going to be working off of ladders. Now, it might be inside of an office, it might be up on a wall, you might be using an A-frame ladder, you might have your ladder up against the wall. I just want to show you a couple of quick little things about ladder safety that I make sure I do on a regular basis. So I've got a ladder set up here and this is just an extension ladder which actually can be folded into an A-frame, it can be extended, it's fantastic. First and foremost when you're setting up a ladder you want to make sure that the surface that you're actually setting it up onto is flat and smooth and not on an angle or is in danger of breaking. So if it's up onto a wall that's a little bit janky, you don't want to be doing that because if that tilts, then you're only going to have one leg on the ground and there's a really good chance you can slide out. The other thing is you want to make sure that when you're putting your ladder on the ground that it's on a smooth, even surface. So this is more of an issue when you're outside. However, even if you're inside, you wanna make sure that you don't have anything underneath the ladder, like a piece of wood or a two by four, or even some of that paper backing, cause that paper backing is very slippery. One thing that I wanted to make mention of is that every single ladder has to have the danger stickers on them. If they don't have any danger stickers on them, there's a chance that that ladder is going to be old. It might not be up to code. And if that's the case, you don't want to be using it. If your ladder has any damage to it at all, don't use it. Because if you can fall off of a ladder, it's going to hurt and it could potentially end your career or take you out for a long time. So one quick note that I learned during a ladder safety meeting, it was a toolbox meeting, is to quickly set up a ladder. How do you get the right angle? The quickest way to do this, and I'll just come around here and I'll show you, is you want to start by lining your feet up with the bottom of the ladder on both sides and just kind of stand in front of it, reach your arms out, and with your arms straight out, you want to have them basically straight when you're holding the ladder. If it's too far out and you're reaching for the ladder, then the ladder is basically on too much of an angle and can slide out. If it's too close to you and your arms are bent, then you have the possibility of tipping back. So arms out, straight, grabbing the ladder. This gives you a chance to make sure that you're on an even surface, that you look up at the top, that your ladder is at the even surface at the top, and that it's at the right angle. This is just one little trick to make sure that when you're working off of a ladder, it's safe. You also don't want to overreach. If you can't reach something, come down, move your ladder, set it up properly. 
One other thing I wanted to show you is this is just a small three-step ladder, and this is fantastic. It's really strong. It locks into place, so you don't need to worry about it moving. You've got all four legs secure to the ground, and it's super sturdy, and you have that ability to work off of this ladder very easily and safely. This is just a little rundown of ladder safety, but it's something that I think everybody should take a few minutes to do and to go over to make sure that your ladders are safe, in working order, have all of the decals on them, and learn how to set up your ladder, learn how to do it properly. Because again, if you fall at a job site, it's gonna be disastrous. Okay everyone, I hope that you found this video helpful and that you learned a couple of quick little tips on ladder safety, knife safety, paper backing safety, heat gun safety, and I hope that nobody's ever gonna have to use one of these kits, but unfortunately a lot of us will. I know I'll be using mine again. And the worst thing is, is that, you know, you get blood on vinyl, that's not what you want. So, if we can work safely, especially around others as well, we can keep everyone else safe, keep the general public safe, we can keep wrapping, keep working, ultimately, we can still make money. If you guys have any questions at all or any comments, please feel free to make them in the comment section. Please let me know if I missed anything out. Feel free to like us, share us, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and check out all of our other videos that we've got. I look forward to chatting with you guys again.